Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates, but not for my cousins, the Adeli penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Hi, me hearty. But couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppy. <laughs> So? Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry, I know the type. Uh. <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone. Oh. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. Adeli penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip, and I'm Flap. Oh, but here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the moon and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind my back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> 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 That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. I'm Flap. He's Flip. Oh, sorry, Flap. You mean Flip. Yes, Floop. I mean Fleep. I mean, oh, Flappity Flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like Flap's. I mean Flip's. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy. Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie! You don't scare me! <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rock on me, hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi? Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashi to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! <laughs> Dashi! Sandy, up to the 
Cryptonauts to the HQ. A big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adeli penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adeli penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup sea. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. Hang on, penguins. I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. On board. Oh, we need a shelter to keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss a big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <sighs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too to move. will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <gasps> but an iceberg on the beach can really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gup Sea was built to break through ice. Penguins, this could get bumpy. Where's Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? Cannonball! 
You're right, it is cold, Tunin. Can you believe these emperor penguins have been standing out here since the winter started in Antarctica? Cheaper. It's true. It's up to these penguin dads to keep their eggs warm until they hatch. Huh. Look like our mums. The penguin mums are at the ocean getting food for their family. But it's a long, long trip home. I hope they're back soon. Yeah, me too. It's getting downright boring just standing here. We may be bored, hungry and tired, but we're emperor penguins. We'll do whatever it takes to keep our eggs safe. Right, dads? Right! I can hear you. Right! Shellington to Gup I. Not quick here. The Emperor Penguin eggs are fine, and the fathers are staying strong. Very good, Shellington. It looks like the temperature is warming up. Spring is nearly here. The winds are calm, and eh? Huh? What's that noise? Follow me! Quick, quick! Ah! Penguin cheeks! They're scratching because they're hatching! Super, super! Let's go and tell Captain Barnacles our egg-sighting news. <laughs> Cracking! Good to hear, Shellington. The Emperor chicks have hatched. And that means it's time for the mums to head back home. How are the Emperor Penguin mothers doing, Peso? Swimmingly, Captain. Look. They're chasing after food so they can fill up their tummies and feed their families. Incredible! Look at that strength and speed! My Emperor Penguin cousins are champion divers. They can swim deeper than any other bird. Dashy, Quasi, it's almost time for the Penguin Mums to head home. How's the research coming? Amazing, Captain. I'm getting some video of Emperor Penguins feeding that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah! Look at them go! Slipping and sipping! Oh, yeah! And now I'm getting some video of Quasi that nobody's ever seen before. Oh, I am so sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah! Ready to go again! I'm still new at all this. First year laying an egg, first time diving for food as a mom. First time? You swim like a pro. Oh, you think so? I feel so full and clumsy. It's our last meal before the long trip home, so we have to eat a lot. Uh, oh! <laughs> Excuse me. It looks like the mother penguins have finished eating and are ready to get back to their families. We'll want to be on the ice when those penguins surface. Something tells me it's going to be quite a show. Look! Did you see that? Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup I. The Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin Mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashy, take the Gup S under now. <laughs> Captain, Emperor Penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashie. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. <laughs> She's an Emperor Penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Like 
at picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Oh. 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 I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. Oh. What's happening? Optonauts, abandon the gut S now! Never a dull moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right. But I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. That's odd. For a second, I thought I heard the Octo Alert. Huh? My Octo Compass is frozen, and the Octo Alert isn't working. Gup I, come in. Come in, Gup I. Shiver me whiskers! And all me other parts, too! We can't stay out in the cold like this! Don't worry. We'll keep warm by carrying you home. But which way is home? Um... I have no idea. And the map's not working. <sighs> that way is home! <gasps> That's right! Emperor penguins can find the way back to their babies without a map or a compass. Even in a blizzard! Octonauts, let's do this! Not long now, love. Not long at all. Look! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! Over here! <laughs> Where are you? I want my mom. We'll help you find your mom. What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who is missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go best. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm, that sounds like an emperor penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? <laughs> My darlings, I'm here. Bandages? Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes, thanks to the Octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Meet your mommy. <laughs> Oh, my little legs all grown up. Captain, what happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gup S? <clears throat> you tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the gup S is at the bottom of an ice chasm. <sighs> Squeak! I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the gup S out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with extra marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And go! 
got it. 